Now that we know what the call manager is, let's talk about how it works as we dive into CUCM architecture. I want to start off by looking at the IP phone communication, as in how the phones and the call manager interact. Now, I want to make sure I, I preface this. There is a whole blob of important stuff. It's just a blob, right? Uh, that the phones go through when they boot. It's the whole boot process. And I'm going to have a nugget dedicated to just the boot process of the phone, where they get their firmware, find out where the call manager is, get an IP address. I mean, all that stuff is really important. But in this nugget, I want to focus on how the day-to-day -day communication happens, like, you know, normal interaction with the call manager after the phone is booted. To do that, I'm going to bring three protocols out on the scene. The first two are signaling protocols, skinny and SIP. RTP is the sound of audio. Think of, think of that as the audio protocol. So Skinny and SIP are used for signaling to and from the call manager for, think of just normal interaction. So somebody dials a number. The phone has to signal, hey, they dialed this number. Or the call manager is like, ooh, I got to make that phone ring. It's going to signal using one of these protocols. You put a call on hold, transfer a call. All those kind of things are grouped into signaling. Now, Skinny was the first one to be developed, which was what Cisco rolled out with call manager. It's proprietary. That's how Cisco could roll out so many cool features that nobody else had so quickly, is they had their own little protocol that this phone used when it was talking to the CUCM server. Uh, now, as time went on, this standard developed to where SIP is like, oh, that's now becoming a reality. And the way I think of it is, think of SIP as like the TCP IP, right? Like, it's, it's the clear victor, and it's going to be, but uh, Skinny had its era. You know, it's like the IPX SPX. If anyone remembers the old Novell protocol, where everyone's like, oh, that's probably going to take over the world. It didn't, but it had a good run. Uh, and that's kind of where Skinny is positioned right now. Now, I don't see this going away in anywhere near the short term because phones are out there that still can't get all their features without using a protocol other than Skinny. So it's going to take some time, but someday we're going to see SIP everywhere. Now, why is that good? Because now we can blend all these different vendor phones, just like we have, you know, Dell and Apple and, and IBM and all these different computers on one network because they all communicate using TCP IP. Well, soon we're going to have all these different phones on one network to where uh, all these phones, whether we've got Cisco and other heathen brands, which shan't be mentioned right now, uh, mixed together to where they all communicate using this standards-based protocol. So here's how a phone call would work. Let's say this is extension 10 and this is extension, uh, well, not 10, how about 11? Uh, this phone picks up and signals uh, the off-hook status. He's like, hey, call manager, I went off-hook. Hmm, he's playing dial tone. You dial, you dial a 1. He goes, hey, I dialed a 1. I dialed a 3. I, or, you know, well, obviously, we're dialing 11, right? So I dialed a 1. I dialed a 1. Call manager then signals down here and says, okay, phone, ring, ring. You know, all of this is done using skinny or sip. Now, once this handset goes off it's like I'm off hook now call manager introduces these two phones to each other and it sends a, a message to each phone saying hey why don't you go ahead and speak directly to this guy's IP address and now they have a full communication using RTP what is RTP real-time transport protocol now you say wait there's four words there and I only see three acronyms real dash time. That's how they got away with it. Um, that's the audio protocol that's actually sending. Now it's sending some variety of codecs and there's a lot of codecs. A codec is a coder decoder like G711, G729. These are different codecs that are available, offer different quality levels versus bandwidth savings and all that kind of stuff. Again, we're going to have a nugget dedicated to just the codecs in the future. But these guys are talking and communicating. Why is that good? Because when these phones are talking directly it's not causing a huge load on the call manager. I mean, this call manager could ignite into flames, fire burning everywhere, and the phones are still communicating. Now, their features may not work if that's the only call manager you got. You know, they're trying to transfer or put somebody on hold. It's going to be like, sorry, call manager's on fire. It doesn't actually give you that notice, but the phones know that they can't talk to the call manager anymore, but that doesn't interrupt the audio. So let's take away the burning call manager, shall we? So the phones communicate, they do their thing, and once they hang up, the RTP stream stops to where that now disconnects. The phones both signal whether they're using skinny or SIP, saying, okay, the, fall, the call is now disconnected, and call manager frees up all the resources and knows the phone is back on hook and all, all those kind of things. So you can see how these guys, just think of those as like the call setup and maintenance protocols. This is the actual sound of audio going across. Now, one key difference between these two that I won't say it's a big one, but it can be handy because it saves some resources. Skinny does digit by digit 
processing. So when this person calls, let's say they dial nine for an outside line, five, 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 one, one, like as they're dialing each one of these digits, it's like five, not or five, five, one, one, one. You know, each each digit is being sent to the call manager. Call manager's got its little list of uh, valid numbers to call on this uh, kind of torn piece of paper there, and it's it's going okay. It's not that one. It's not that one. So immediately, as soon as he dials the digit that says there's no dial plans left, call manager's like, eh, nope, reorder tone. Eh, 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 you know, to where that's a bad number that you've dialed. Whereas if you're running SIP, let's say this phone's running SIP, the call manager has the option. It doesn't have to. It can do it the same way as skinny to where it's like digit by digit is sent to the call measure, but it has the option to send all of those dialed digits, like a, a micro version of the dial plan, down to the phone. So this phone can actually go off hook and dial numbers without sending a flurry of like dot, 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 you know, hitting that call measure. The phone itself has a level of intelligence to know what numbers are good and what numbers are bad. So now you know how the call manager interacts with these phones. You've seen key protocols like Skinny and SIP that are used for signaling and RTP for the audio. And you've seen how the call flow works to where they talk to the call manager first, then go direct with their audio to not bog down the call manager in any way with their conversation. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.